of the year at the recent National Blues Awards in Memphis, Tennessee. He has played to sold-out houses on three continents, including at Carnegie Hall and the Sydney Opera House. He is a Grammy Award winner. He's the only musician ever to have played the national anthem at the Houston Astrodome. And for his charity work, he's been made an honorary admiral in the Texas Navy. And yet once, Stevie Ray Vaughan was just another kid at home driving his parents crazy, playing the guitar all the time. To play like Stevie Ray Vaughan, there are some people, and myself included, who given a certain time of day, certain part of the set, certain culminating energy that happens in the room, 
you can play with that same intensity, but you can only do it for about 20 seconds. And then your entire arm cramps up, and you got nothing. <laughs> I just like to have fun with it, you know. I'll be 50 and, and still be discovering something about it in the car. You got one of those little guitars, those little guitars with the cowboys on them. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we started really trying to play. And I would put it down and leave and say, look, don't touch my guitar. And I would leave and he would play the guitar just as soon as I left. And it sort of went on like that for a couple of years. And then as I started getting better and everything, I, I, we would sort of, I would sort of move up. On a, I'd get a better guitar, and then he would kind of get the hand-me-down. Yeah. And then, you know, it just sort of went on like that, just like normal brothers. Before he even walked out his house. And what that thing was, was half brutal force and half finesse. Was he, he was totally himself when he was playing. Um, there was no pretense up there. He was incapable of that. You know, I've seen people try and tell him, well, you ought to try and move like this or do this or that, and he, he couldn't do it. You know, he was incapable of performing or playing anything that wasn't in his heart. And I, I think people really picked up on that. And when he got up there, he was so passionate about it. It's like he put everything he had into it, and you could tell. I was listening to Poison and Motley Crue, and then I heard Stevie Ray Vaughan, and there was a, there was a big regime change in terms of posters in my bedroom wall, you know. Um, but they credit you as being probably one of the greatest guitarists of all times. I keep trying to be. I keep trying to be. I don't know that I am. I just know that I do the best that I can. The best that you can is, is absolutely phenomenal. I, I, keep going back to that, but again, it's, uh, that sound check was awesome. All right. Um.